Ken Mulget with Jim Check in front of Jim Check's Tesla. And for this reason, you received an email from Tesla saying that there's something special you can do this month. What is it? I got uh, the invite to a full self-driving uh, supervised trial. So I get version 12 of the uh, vision-based uh, self-driving, full self-drive. So we can just get in the car. Tell it where to go and, and it'll do the rest. And it'll, and it'll do it. Okay, so let's randomly choose Prospera Place as our destination. So how do we get started? So I'm just going to say uh, navigate to Prospera Place. So it's punched in the navigation and then so there you go. And okay. now it's it jumped off the curb and it, 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 it did its own thing. I didn't do anything. I must say the first <laughs> few meters were not tentative. It just bolted forward. <laughs> it's signaling. It's right. decided that it wants to go uh, this left. way. All right. It's really kind of checking things out. There's a car coming, another Tesla. It sees it, stops will it, again. Will it, will it, will it wink to it? No, no, no wink. There's no sign of that happening. But um, yeah, one thing I noticed when we came up to the curb there, it did seem to sort of uh, pause further from the road than a person typically would. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of held back, didn't it? it yeah. Was, it was kind of held back. I mean, a person normally noses forward so they can crane their neck and see, and I guess it, it sees a little differently than you and me. Yeah, it's all vision-based, so it's using the eight cameras that are on board here. You're not touching the wheel? I just touch it every now and then because you're supposed to touch it every now and then to let you know because it's supervised still, right? Right. It's still supervised, so you're supposed to supervise. This stopped way back from the yield sign. But right now, right? as we take the corner... So it's yielding out here to... Um, it's in the right lane, and it's decided that it needs to be in the left lane because there's a turn up ahead. There it's decided that it's going on its own. You can see, if you look at the, what Ken's showing there, it's all the traffic. It sees all the traffic. And it's going into the left lane. It's going to make a turn. Is it? It says it is. Like, that's weird if it's going to turn is left. Is it signaling left? It is signaling left, but it's not turning left. So this could be a... This is a bit of a fail right now. <laughs> is this a double left? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. <laughs> like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to get in its way. It's going to do its own thing. Well, well, I don't know if I'm so calm. Could you just not move it over? Well, but... I can, but I mean, like, aren't we seeing if this thing will do its own thing? We have a problem with the intersection of, <laughs> what is this, Birch we call Elon or and what? Harvey. It should be in the left lane. It's trying to turn left. What is it going to do? No, like oh, here we boy. are. It's wrongly signaling left while going. Now it doesn't know what to do. Oh, now oh. it's like completely lost. Oh my yeah. God! All right, take. We're oh, gonna, so we're gonna take over here. Holy <laughs> moly! <laughs> Thank all right, you. All right that's it. There. That's it. I'm getting it the. Want, it I, wanted to go left, but it was thinking it was a double left. Um, is there a Hyundai dealership around here? That Ionic <laughs> Six looking better than ever. <laughs> that was definitely a takeover. Okay, so, all right, one fail, but let's see how we do here. Another intersection coming up. Oh, it's going to use the left-hand turn lane this time. That's, that's cutting edge. Yeah. Again, I do find it, you know, when it's executing that turn, pretty peppy you know and it jumps out there pretty good right it doesn't yeah. like hesitate when it no, starts like, i kind of expected like... it to be more like it's a robot now it's going to drive really uh, slow like a granny and it's not how does it feel though um to just be doing that just just letting the car what, what how do you how would you describe i mean it? i use autopilot all the time so i'm pretty comfortable with it what it's doing i mean with autopilot you it doesn't change lanes and doesn't turn and all that stuff Autopilot just drives in the same lane. This does turns. This is supposed to be point to point. So you say, take me home or take me to Prosper Place. It's supposed to figure out the best route and take you all the way there and do all the the turns and the signaling and everything that goes with it. Okay, so we went through that one intersection. I would have, I, you know, and like, it, it really, I mean, it didn't find, the, it tried to turn left, but it somehow didn't know there was a left-hand turn lane. So has that uh, shaken your kind confidence of, a little? It was kind of weird because it looked like it was going to go in that left lane right away, and then it decided that it didn't want to. I don't know, and then all of a sudden it wanted like it was a double left. It wanted to turn left, and then, and then you could see it kind of go, okay, this isn't happening. Yeah, and then I, I took over there and just like took it out, and 
and then put it back in right away. Okay, how does that work? If you decide, okay, I don't like how this is going, if you simply you want to take the over, wheel and... you can grab the wheel and nudge the wheel, and then that'll take it out, or you can touch the brake, and that'll take it out too. Okay. Right? So it, it can tell if you're just asserting yourself, it lets go. Yeah, it says if you want it, it's all yours, right? So um, and you can also flip the switch, right? Yeah, you can flip the switch if you want to, right? So you can do. There's a number of ways to take it out of self drive. So here's a yellow light. Does it go? Yeah, it went, right? Yeah. You would have went, right? I think so. Yeah. Again, yeah. Wow, quite the aggressive. A little peppy right off the gate there, right? Right off the gate. Does it cut them off or does it wait? be a bad place to fail there we go look at that all by itself decided that it wasn't going to cut off the police officer it was just going to wait patiently and do its turn now it's in construction you can see it sees construction signs so it's actually taking it slower in here right it's it slowed it's down a, yeah there's some it's sort in, of extraordinary it's construction, situation yeah. going on there so it slowed right down. There's a pedestrian crossing in front of us. It sees it. I can see it on the screen that, that it sees the pedestrian. The lady yeah. jaywalking, it picked yeah, up on with that. with the purple hair. And now it's turning on Ellis. I find its turns are pretty smooth. Yeah. Here we are sitting here. There's definitely a lot of like flashing on the screen there. It definitely sees a bunch of different things. Yeah. I know, like, was it going to cut that guy yeah. off? Yeah, it, yeah, it, <laughs> it was enough it to waited, keep, though. It, it sort of, it was a funny little wiggle waggle right there. It's like, do I go, do I beat him? And it's okay. like, okay, now so this, this guy is... person is taking their time to turn, and we are pausing. We're pausing, which I would have done, and it did do that. So, And oh. it's going into Prospera Place like it wants to. Oh, hang on, there's a little child here. Yeah, the child's off the curb, okay. though. All right. So there you go, we're at Prospera Place. It's just going to stop here probably somewhere right. and okay. say... It's on you now to pick a parking spot. There you go. It's going to stop right here. So, so there you go. Wow. What do you think? Honestly, I give it a C. I give it a B plus. Nick in the back seat behind the camera. What mark do you give it? I give it a C as well. I'll see you later. <laughs> A little safe in the yield here, like a little safer than most people would be probably. And then back over the left lane, nice, nicely done. Slow down a bit. Why it is, is it going so slow now? Hang on, what, what, how fast are we going? 41 and a 50. I'm not sure why it's going 41 and a 50. 42 now, 43 now. Wow. We're about to hit warp factor one. Right, so we won't actually get arrested for driving too slow at that speed. But that C is hanging by a thread. We're gonna use the left okay, lane. Okay, now we're appro The idea is we're gonna approach Harvey to turn left, but this is confusing because there's this other left-hand turn lane to get into the accent in ahead of the turn lane that we're going to use. Yeah, because notice... you're not supposed to go into it yet. You're not supposed right. to go in into no, it. I'm, I'm impressed that it picked up on that nuance. No, it's going to go left now. Are we going to take the left-hand turn lane this time? Yeah, it's going. Wow, okay. Now, this is one of those... You know, you, I love it when you've got a transport nice, yeah. truck there. And it's hesitating, going, going, and going. Whoa, Jeez. That wasn't great. <laughs> it, it didn't break any rules. No. <laughs> it kind of made you wonder what was going did on there. Did it signal for that lane yeah, change? Yeah, it did. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I think what it's causing its grief is full self-drive may be degraded because of the weather. So it, it may be going slower because of the weather. It may have a weather caution on it. There you go. This excuse brought to you by Jim likes Teslas too much. <laughs> Went around this guy signaling instead of waiting patiently behind it. Yeah. Hey, okay. signal low. Went back around. That wasn't bad. Played a little Frogger there. That was a, that was a good, good moment. That was one of the good moments. So far, the, the vehicle has not made a mistake on the way back. It's may have been a little cautious, and then I, at that Gordon light, it was a little, uh, no, a little, say, a little no, kind of uh, like. Sorry, uh, no, uh, sorry. Slowing down to 41 and carrying on at that speed or thereabouts for a lengthy period of time was a mistake. <laughs> also, the left-hand turn onto Harvey Avenue was aiming for us to ram right into the curb, and then a last-minute sharp jolting correction occurred. 
That was not good. It wasn't terrible. It, so wasn't, it didn't hit the curb. It did not hit the curb. It noticed it and then it avoided it. Like you got to think about it though, like this thing is doing all this by itself, like a robot. Like that's pretty, pretty impressive. It right? is. Like, no, it, it is amazing it's, all it's, that it's, it's doing. It's like crazy impressive, right? It, it is. Okay, right. It, that, it's all true. I'm, but is it ready for full autonomous? This, I don't think so. Okay, so we did the trip from Landmark uh, down to Prospera and back again. Um, it's amazing, you know, having the um, onboard uh, computer do all the driving for us, but it wasn't perfect. It had a fail on the way there for sure, um, in that left lane. I mean, it didn't do anything dangerous, I guess, but it mm. sat out there thinking it was going to do a double left. I saw cars around us looking confused. <laughs> I mean, it, which could lead, I mean, that could have led to problems, but yeah. we got out okay. Yeah. And then on the way back, uh, there was... Um, and I, I know we're, I'm, we're being critical here. Yeah. On the way back, it did kind of strangely slow down it from the normal 50 slower. down to about 41 for quite a, quite a while for mysterious reasons. No mistakes on the way back other than going slow okay, for I would call like, that a mistake. Like, like five blocks. That's yeah. Right, which, but if you gave it a C on the way there, it's got to be a solid B on the way back. Yeah, I would give it a C on the way there and a B on the way back. Overall, but, impressive what's going on in general. It's crazy impressive, right? Like it's absolutely... Like it's it's not ready for you and I to get in the back seat and let it do its thing. Well, I noticed even it's in pretty the, cool though. In all the messaging, it's it's um, it's full self driving brackets supervised, uh, supervised yeah. right? And I would say at this point that supervision is still required. For sure, it's like, not just there to cover. Yeah, and it doesn't allow you know if you get caught a couple times not supervising it, it just bans you from right. it. Right. No, the yeah. point I'm trying to make here is that I think that that requirement for supervision isn't just, you know, to legally have, no, have, have our needed. rear ends covered. It's, it's still needed. Yeah, it's definitely needed. But there's still some improvement uh, to go. Yeah, and I think they're trying to do that every day. And they get all these miles. Now they've got a whole bunch of cars out there, so they get all this information to make it better. Right. So, um, interesting. Thanks for taking us for a spin, Jim. And it's cold. Yeah, and it's time to get inside. <laughs>